I'm listening to every beat by Kanye since 1996 to find which are the best and if we can find any overlooked gems. Welcome back my friends, I hope everyone's having a great day. We're on part 7, 2002. Great beats from this year, let's get straight into it. But first, on the leaderboard. My favourite beats from each year, we have Grav, Line for Line from 96, Beat 8 from the 97 beat tape, Jermaine Dupree, Turn It Out from 1998, Dead Presence, Bigger Than Hip Hop from 99, Lil Kim, Don't Mess With Me from 2000, and Izzo by Jay-Z from 2001. First up, State Property, Beanie Freeway, Classic Yay Sound, one of my faves from this year. This has everything from strings, keys, wind and brass instruments. Some huge build-ups. Interestingly, Kanye has a small uncredited vocal part in this where he says, We in the streets play a get your mail. There's only two places to go, either dead or in jail. Anyone know where this line reappears? Nas, Lost Tapes, Papa Was A Player. This was recorded in 98 when Kanye was working with D-Dot. This is a good beat, a classic song, must listen. Killer Cam, Dead or Alive, featuring Jim Jones off his album Come Home With Me. I always say this and probably will more, but Kanye's drums are so good. The vocal sample in the chorus as well. With beats like this, we can see how Ye would slowly develop his style with vocal samples. I'm also noticing more the way he uses bass lines. Three beats on Scarface is absolute classic. The Fix, In Cold Blood, Cool Beat. I like the xylophone parts. Scarface goes hard on this. Guess who's Bizak with Jay and Beanie. This was one of the earliest hip hop songs I listened to and it still takes me back. I love the keys and strings on this, the short bass notes. Kanye has the hook on this. Everyone goes crazy. One of my favorites from this year. And lastly, Heaven. Laid back, introspective. The beat switch towards the end of this is gorgeous. Listen to this whole album if you haven't. Trina's second album, Diamond Princess. First up, B, alright? This beat was ahead of its time. The strings, backing vocals, drums and bass. Great song too. Ye also produces the track, Do You Want Me? Music from Nocturnal's debut EP. I like the hook on this song, but the beat gets outshined by some of the others on this list. I hadn't heard this album before and it's not bad. Some cool features and beats. Kanye contributed production to some soundtracks this year. First off, Champions from the Paid in Full soundtrack sampling Queen. Absolutely filthy beat. Kanye rapping on this. Twisters vs. Hard and that hi-hat part is crazy. Four tracks off the Brown Sugar soundtrack. Brown Sugar, Extra Sweet. The bass and percussion on this is so clean. Brown Sugar, Raw. This one might be better. I like the guitar chops and background vocal samples. Also, Talib comes through with a dope verse. Brown Sugar, Fine. Another dope track. I like the version with Talib better though. Lastly, Breakdown. I like the drums in this. Talib's debut, Quality. Three beats by Ye. Get By, his most popular song. Great beat. The vocal samples are so good. Also, the build-ups between sections. Gorilla Monsoon rap. Kanye on the hook. This isn't my favorite beat from this year, but I really like the violin part which runs through the song. Lastly, Good To You. Strings, pitched up vocals. Classic Ye. And finally from this year, Jay-Z, Blueprint 2. Some people hate. The drums on this are heat. Puppin' Tags featuring Twister, Killer Mike, Big Boy. The bass line on this is so good. I like how each sound is distinct from drums to hats and vocals. 03 Bonnie and Clyde classic track and A Dream. I like the guitar and scratches in this. Compared to last year, this year feels more classic Kanye. More vocal samples appear as well as more diverse credits starting to pop up. Overall, my favourite from this year has to be Trina. Be alright. Those strings and bass are wild. Check out any previous years if you missed them. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss future parts in this series. Also, check out my ranking series on Kanye, Brock Hampton or Tyler as well as my series covering a whole range of artists.